My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. And you know, today I was accused of doing something that I don't do. Now most of the time, if I share anything on here with Facebook, you know, I let you know. Which I don't when it involves my mom. You know, I don't really share anything on here about her to Facebook. And I only have 21 followers, so you know, it's not like it's a big deal. If I tell you guys what's going on in my life, which since I don't really have a life, it's not like anybody's going to really give a damn. But you know, I'm one of these people. I'm honest to a fucking fault. I, I don't like people who, one, use God when they know straight up and down they're going to go to hell because they're using God as a clutch. And they're swearing in high heaven and hell that they are better than everyone else. But they're not living by the example that they're supposed to live by if they're so-called Christian or Baptist or religious on any level, shape, or form. If you got priests raping kids in the Catholic religion, the Baptist religion, and the Presbyterian religion, and every other religion that's been not blown out of the water yet for doing it, how the hell can they call themselves men of God? This also goes to people who swear, oh, my mom's a preacher, my dad's a preacher, I'm supposed to be better than all of you because... I come from a family that's preachers. Yes, you are supposed to be better than us. So what the hell gives you the right to go around causing all kinds of problems and trouble for all of you people who are people of God? Let me give you a piece of advice for all you people who claim to be people of God. First off, the church is not God. The church is God's house. We are all products of God. No matter how you ascend to get to Him, we are all products of God. No one better than the rest. Some might be a little bit more blessed. But don't abuse your blessings to hurt others. Because if you're using God to hurt others, then you truly are not a person of God. You truly need to open your um, Bible and maybe read the context of the commandments. Thou shalt be no God before me. No one is bigger than everyone else. God created all man in his image. So... If you're not living by the commandments, how can you honestly, and I don't know all the commandments, but I know that thou shalt be no God before me is number one. Uh, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. I know enough to stay alive. I probably would get hung if I was actually in a church. If I could walk through the door without bursting into flames. People who call themselves religious, who believe in God and go to church on Sunday and pray for forgiveness, but then turn around and cause chaos in other people's lives. You're not a person of God. You're a false prophet. And you will burn in hell when your end of days come. That's just for all you people who think you're holier than thou and believing in God. You're rocking crucifixes. Much like this one. And ain't believing in God. If you're doing all kinds of bad things to people and you think you're doing the right thing, you don't believe or you don't follow God's will. But the 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 rage of God will fall upon you when it comes down to heaven. Because if you're a person of God, even if you ask for forgiveness, even God's got a goddamn cutoff point of when he's not going to keep forgiving you for you doing evil shit in his name. Now let me move on. So apparently, people don't seem to like my honesty. People also don't like to be honest with me. And they talk out of both sides of their mouth. People like to claim shit that I did when I didn't do and people like to say shit to cause more problems for people in my family. I don't post shit up on Facebook. I went Facebook live once about some shit but I didn't post it. It didn't stay there and if it did stay there I didn't put it there because I don't know how to record anything live. I assume that it's live so when it stops screaming it stops. So because of what I've been accused for today you will not see me posting anything live on Facebook that doesn't directly affect me. Because that's how I got in trouble today over some shit from months ago. So, let me drop this to you right here. And this goes to all you people in Charlottesville and all you people around the rest of the world who have a problem with me. If you think you can whoop my ass, feel free to try. If you have something to say, and you're scared that I'm going to beat your ass, well, there's two ways out of this. One, 
keep it to yourself and pray that it doesn't get back to me because even the wrath of God won't stop me from finding you and wringing your damn neck. Or two, be honest, sit down and talk to me like an adult instead of talking about me behind my back and saying shit and thinking that it ain't going to get back to me because every time someone opens up their mouth, they don't know who's listening. I personally don't give a damn. I'm 43 years old. I haven't broken any laws. I have never done drugs. I may have gotten a little bit of a harassment charge. I may have got a ton of speeding tickets. But compared to what everyone else has done, I'm a damn saint. Oh yeah, the worst thing that I do is I open up my mouth and cuss words come out. But other than that, I'm all around a fair and honest person. I don't tell lies because it's not the right thing to do. All right? It's one thing my dad engraved in me from the day I could walk and until I became a grown man. And in, as I became a grown man, even more so, he always told me to do the right damn thing. Now, me coming in on March. My dad passed away towards the end of March. So I will be doing another special on him on the day that he passed away. Not the funeral day. But on the exact day that he had the accident, that he passed away in my car, which has haunted me every night and every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think, had I not had the surgery, he wouldn't have been driving my car. Had I not had the surgery, he'd still be here because he died within a couple of months of me getting out of surgery. I couldn't drive myself around or do anything, and he died, and that's on me. All right? That's my fucking fault. But here's one thing that is not my fault. I'm honest. When I stopped going to church and started believing in God, I stopped telling lies at 12. I'm 43 now. Anything before the age of 12, I did it. I'm no saint. I'm not Jesus. I'm not a fucking liar. I did my bad shit. I was in a gang. I did all kinds of shit. Am I ashamed of some of the actions? Fuck yeah. But the only thing I'm really ashamed of is my cussing habit. I'm ashamed of the time in the third grade that a white girl caught me a nigger and I punched her in the mouth. Other than that, I'm not ashamed of any of that. I'm ashamed that I was in a gang for three damn days. I knew right from wrong. I'm ashamed that I was forced to be a street fighter since I was six years old because there was no uh, parental protection from what got me into this shit in the first place. But here's the thing about a monster. When you create a monster, you better be able to control it. And this is where things get fun. I am a monster, but I control my fate. I control my destiny, and I dare anyone, whether you are in Charlottesville or anywhere else in the world, hip replacement or not, yeah, I'm crippled, but that does not mean I can't fight. I will fight to my last breath. And if you don't believe so, or if you think you're big and bad, I'm not a badass, but I don't have to beat you to kill you. One thing I learned before I joined the military, because I had a 16-year-old guy who was me, who was taught by a Green Beret when I worked at a redneck bar. This Green Beret was a black man who taught me how to hurt people. And that hurt, as in hurt, you get up, you get fixed up, you go to the hospital, but as hurt and make it permanent. Then I joined the Army at 36 years old because of a broken heart. So I ask you, and let me quote Shaft, the Samuel L. Jackson version. Do you think this makes me more dangerous or less dangerous? I have wounded animal syndrome. I know I'm not supposed to do any fighting because the doctors in the army hospital highly recommend it that I don't. But there's just one itsy bitsy problem that we have here. You can take me out of the bad neighborhood. You can take and put me in a nice flowery patch. But the second a ninja, a samurai, a rustler, or a big ass motherfucker with a big mouth and big fist come at me to bring all kinds of harms. Now let me quote Charles Xavier. I feel a great deal of pity for the asshole that tries to hurt me. Now I have my rules. And I have my honor. And sometimes you have to bend your honor to make a statement. So let me make this statement. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm afraid of what I'm going to do to you if I'm trapped with you. Or, to quote Rorschach, I'm not trapped with you. 
you're trapped with me. Now, everybody seems to like these movie quotes that I just threw at them because everybody on the streets now trying to use them to play Billy Badass. There's a difference between playing Billy Badass and being Billy Badass. I was a badass long before I went to the army. The army just made me a better badass. I'd stake my life on it because I'm the never say die black guy. Just any, anybody who's ever wrestled with me, anybody who's ever sparred with me, they know. You get me down. That's the easy part. Keeping me down is a whole nother ball game. So for all you people who run out of both sides of your mouth and talk all this bullshit, you have options. I have given them to you. We can do the adult thing and talk like men, especially if I'm talking to someone who has breasts because I don't believe in putting my hands on a woman in any way, shape, or form unless she has a knife, a stick, a gun, a rock, an ink pen, or a pencil, or a stone, or a cement block, or something in her hand that can bring me bodily harm. And trust me, there's 8 million weapons in America and only a few of us know what they are. And I ain't talking about the kind where you have to squeeze a trigger because only cowards and cops would carry guns. Army men carry guns because it's part of our uniform. And most of the time, we're getting dropped off on other places to kill people so that they don't come over here and kill you while you're sleeping. So I say again, if you don't like me, tell me. Because see, it don't matter if you don't like me. I'm going to respect you until you stop respecting me. Now, when I lose respect for you, you can earn it back by, one, doing the right thing, two, never doing the wrong thing again that involves me, or hurting someone that I care about. And this is where that came from. I went live a few months back. And it seemed to cause a clusterfuck of problems for people that I care about. Because someone who thinks they're holier than God, or in her own words, God's favorite, has decided that I'm an asshole. Well, I was an asshole before you met me. I claim all of that. I own what I do wrong. Every bit of it. I own it. But tonight, I got accused again of doing something that I didn't do. And for that, now I got to say it because I already mentioned my mouth. I do not post shit up about my mom on Facebook. So my mom's wrong on that one. But for whoever started that shit, that's not cool. And if you're so big and bad and bull, why don't you come and sit down and talk to me like an adult? Don't start shit with my mom to get to me. Stay out of shit with me. I got a fella up the street that talks out of both sides of his mouth. It takes everything I can to keep my hands to myself when I go visit people in his house, or his peep's house, to not wring his fucking neck. That started off when he... Accuse me of not being a man. Okay, I'll own that. I won't be a man. I'll be something much worse. Because, you know, there are things on earth worse than the devil. There are things on earth worse than demons. I may be in the top of the line of that. You no. Know, but I don't deny it. I don't deny it for a second that I am not a saint. I'm not. I'm full of evil just like everyone else. The difference is, I control it. The difference is, I don't go around starting shit. I finish it. Real quick. No one's come to this house looking for me for a fight. I can almost guarantee you that. Because most people know who the hell I am. They also know that my skill level is pretty damn good with these hands and feet. So, why come and start something that you can't finish? My whole point is, if you're going to talk out of both sides of your mouth, and you don't want your teeth, then say it to me directly. Say what you feel. Like I said, you catch me on the right day, we can talk like human beings. You catch me on the wrong day, and you very well might get eviscerated. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me put that in English. You very well might get hurt really, really badly. Now, this isn't a threat to anyone. It may sound like a threat, but it's the truth. I don't bother nobody. I go home. I go to work. When the army puts me back in school, I will go to school. I don't care what anyone else does in their life as long as their shit doesn't bleed into mine. But when your shit does bleed into mine, 
you have to be prepared for the course of action that you put me on. Now, getting accused of doing something that I didn't do hurt my feelings. However, Mommy Deals would much rather see me dead than hear anything that comes out my mouth. So, therefore, I'm here on YouTube, venting. But everyone can say words. And a threat, a threat is an action followed up from the words that we say. I have never gone around a day in my life and threatened people who have not done something to me first. It's a martial art rule. We don't start fights, we finish them. I've been doing Kung Fu since I was seven years old. I have enough honor and integrity to know not to pick a fight with people just because I can. Might don't always make right. But when pushed too far, sometimes might can make the difference. So, I don't like being accused of things that I didn't do. I don't like having to fight or an infight with family members. But when you're wrong, you're damn wrong. Any, anything that I share on here with my 21 followers or my friends or whatever, I don't put everything on Facebook. Unless I know it's going to benefit me for it to go on Facebook. Uh, I put a video up earlier today about all these songs I sung. That went on Facebook. But those songs aren't going on Facebook. I'm crazy. Not stupid. I put up everything right smack dead here on Kung Fu Habit number two. And you know, clearly it's not meant for me to be famous. It's not. Because it's not happening. Or because it's not its time. But whatever the reason is, you know, let's keep it real. I got 21 followers. I didn't think I would get that many. I'm grateful for all 21 of you. Hell, I might be one of you myself. The, the problem is, you know, to each person, their time. My time is coming on. My youth is over, and I owe it all to my family for making really stupid procreation decisions. So therefore, if I'm not famous before I'm 45, hell, that shit's not gonna fucking happen. That gives me like maybe 15 months, providing the math is correct, because it is February now, in six months, I'll be 44, and in 12 months from then, I'll be 45. So, like I said, this shit's not happening. Am I quitting? No. But if I could have a time machine, that will be my next video. Please enjoy. Thank you for listening to my pain and suffering and venting. And no, this video will not be on Facebook. Unless someone hacks my fucking site. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I'm James Williams Jr. This is Come From Havoc number 2, B, C, and U.